Today in Waco, a group of friends ran in the Magnolia Silos District 5K before they ran in tomorrow's full marathon. Now, it was the first time they've ever met in person after spending years connecting virtually. I have a few friends like that. It's truly a story of perseverance and six news reporter Darren Wallace caught up with these friends to learn what makes their bond so special. No, I didn't just run a marathon, but there's a group of four friends who met on Instagram that'll hope to cross this finish line tomorrow. And they're all linked by one very rare form of cancer. I, I started running uh, before I knew I had cancer. Um, I kind of married into it. My wife was running marathons and I just, I was attracted to the hype of it. Um, and so when I got diagnosed, I kind of thought I was done with that. I kind of entered the cancer world knowing I can do something that, that's difficult, but now I've got the ultimate difficult thing on my plate, and I don't know if I can chew on it. After treatment, after lung surgeries, after radiation, and, and all the, just the beating my body took from, from the cancer treatments, and she helped me climb out of that pit and find light and life on the other side. Before running marathons was just, oh wow, this is kind of a big, exciting event. Now it's like, Look, we're going to do something that like there were days we really didn't know if we could continue doing this together. Like we didn't know how long you would be healthy enough to run this far. That day has definitely been the worst day of my life thus far and I wouldn't go back to it. But I also see how much we've grown from that through our cancer community, through multiple organizations that have, you know, come alongside of us and that we've really been able to kind of link arm in arm with. Um, but I was diagnosed with stage three synovial sarcoma back in 2017, about six weeks after my daughter was born. So you can not only do you get a cancer diagnosis, you have to go through treatment and now you're gonna lose your leg. That's, and then you have a six week old daughter sitting right next to you. And to say that I was scared would be an understatement. I thought my daughter won't have a mother. I mean, that's just the first thing that pops into your head. There's not a lot of amputees out here. We, we don't just go in wheelchairs. We don't just you know park in the handicap spots. We run, we're active, we do things. Like, I want that perception of like, oh, you're disabled so you don't do anything, gone. Because that's not the case anymore. It's just not. I myself am not a cancer warrior, but my mom was. Um, she was diagnosed with extraskeletal osteosarcoma, which is a really rare subtype of sarcoma. It's getting to know these people in person, it's, it's everything. It's it's a heart opening, heart cup full, overflowing moment is what I would say. If you're on the fence about opening up with other people and bringing other people in on your team or into your story, I'd say that yeah, there's magic in misery, but misery loves company. And we are better off um, in numbers.